Hey everybody, what's up? It's your boy AO with a last shelter video. That's right, everybody. So there's this hero outfit level up system that recently became available. It is a limited event, I guess, that will come down in about a day's worth of time. So I wanted to get this video out here pretty quickly um, in case you guys are freaking out or being like, oh my God, do I need to buy this? Is this important? Should I be spending money? Etc. So right now there's only two skins. There's one for Kung Fu Master and there's one for uh, Flash as well. Um, first, we'll just talk about the looks. I actually do kind of like Kung Fu Masters. I think it's kind of funny and silly and goofy. Flashes, it's uh, whatever. But that's not the important part. The important part is what do they do? Are they worth it? Should I get it? So you can obviously get uh, to the skins in, in many different ways. You can go to the hero itself. Um, and, and you'll see it's skin there, or you can just go to your base um, and go to outfit. They're at the bottom since they're they're uh, new, obviously. So here we have Lady Meow or Flashes. Now there are two, you know, two I guess attributes basically. So there's the additional attribute, which is base, which is just what you get when you buy the skin with buttons. Um, these skins cost two thousand buttons so we'll, we'll go here to the boutique yeah see there's 22 hours remaining so it's going to cost 2,000 buttons to unlock this skin um, and once you unlock that skin uh, that's kind of what you get immediately so we'll go back here um, I wish there was like a better better uh, I don't know interface basically where you could just go back but whatever so when you unlock these skins here you're going to get these um, additional attributes and then obviously the outfit attribute if you if you're wearing it or if you're using the, the hero. So once you unlock it, you can level them up with using more buttons, um, and then you're gonna get basically more stats. So the decor level one, you're gonna get troop might plus two percent and troop HP point plus point two percent, and then the outfit attribute again. So if you're actually using this. Um, shooter might 0.5%, shooter resistance 0.5%. So at decor level one, this is pretty, it's not very useful. Um, to be 100% honest, it's not very useful. 2% uh, troop might is, is almost like negligible. Troop 8, 0.2% troop HP is negligible. And then the shooter might and resistance is, is basically zero. Um, that, that almost has no effect whatsoever. Um, Let's actually just uh, click into it again. So 2,000 buttons basically to unlock it and get that decor level one. Um, that's basically useless. So you're you're pretty much kind of wasting the 2,000 um, buttons. But leveling it up will get you there uh, a little bit to, I guess, higher levels where it is actually more useful. Um, again, I don't really like the interface, but it is what it is. So level two. 4%, 0.4, still pretty useless. Level three is where we kind of start uh, have, having like in effect. Um, so plus 6% troop might isn't the worst. It's okay. Um, it, it actually can be kind of good if you're stacking all of these. Um, you know, if you buy both of these skins, for example, I'll show you the Kung Fu Master one um, afterwards. Decor level three is when it, it kind of starts having some sort of in effect. So troop might be the best attacking attribute you can possibly get in the game um, is really good. Troop HP being the best defense attribute you can get in the game still um, makes this good. However, the the percentages are you know they're not they're not super duper important. If you're a lower level, you know, or like free to play or, or things like that, or you know, you're not spending millions and bazillions of dollars, every individual stat is more important. If you're at the very higher levels, like the legendary groupings and, and later in Eden seasons, and you're fighting for, you know, the world centers and things like that, these small amounts of stats are very insignificant because people have thousands of might. Um, so this becomes a very, very low percentage. Whereas if you're in the kind of the lower groupings or more free to play or, you know, less competitive, more casual, these numbers are better. Um, it's a larger percentage of the battle difference. At decor level four, it actually becomes pretty good. It's pretty worth it at, at decor level four for sure. And then f once you max it out at level five, it's actually quite good. 8% troop might, 1% troop HP is pretty solid, especially considering the fact that you can stack these with multiple other skins. Um, and assuming, you know, they come up with this system more and more, um, you'll have more and more 
troop might and, and troop HP. Now the shooter might and shooter resistance is is not very important. Um, it's okay. I mean, obviously anything is 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 good, but this is not going to change the tide of battle here. Um, it's kind of more about the additional uh, attributes and the fact that you can stack those. So that's going to be that's going to be it for Lady Mao. Um, the good thing about this system is that free to players. So the account that I'm currently using is one of my original accounts. It's at this point, it's basically a farm in the, in the lower, uh, you know, the, the earlier states. It's, it's pretty much a farm. Um, I have enough buttons to unlock this skin and upgrade um, a couple levels. So that's pretty good. Um, I think it's good for free to players that you can just kind of, you know, get these skins a little easier. But it's not going to do a ton um, unless you're really buying every single skin and, and stacking them up. So first we're going to talk about Kung Fu Master. Uh, Unexplainable Love, I believe, is the name of the skin. So it's, it's very, very similar. The additional attribute is Troop Might um, at the exact same numbers. So before level 3, it's pretty useless. Um, and then 3, 4, and 5, and potentially beyond, um, they actually have some sort of an effect. Um, vehicle Might and Vehicle Resistance, again, not huge, um, but nothing... You know, it's, it's certainly not bad. Um, you might as well equip it. However, the thing is with, um, you know, Kung Fu Master and, and Flash and some of these other characters, the other skins that you get are definitely just straight up better um, because the better to equip, better to wear because of the additional skill effect. So these new kind of outfit level up button um, skins, I guess, don't have additional skins, at least not the, the first two, not these two. So equipping them isn't very important. You know, getting that like, what, 2.5 might, 2.5 shooter might, 2.5 um, shooter resistance or, or vehicle isn't as important as most of the skill upgrades. So you should equip the skill upgrade outfits, even if you unlock the other outfits, uh, um, equip the kind of skill upgrade outfits instead. Now, obviously, the skill upgrade outfits are harder to get or, or more expensive or, you know, whatever. Um, but if if you have the choice of equipping one or the other, uh, you're, you're going to probably want to equip the um, skill effect one. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of it there. Um, I'm going to unlock the Kung Fu Master skin here with my buttons. So, again, I had 3.6 thousand. Um, so now... You know, now I have uh, this skin basically, um, and then you know you 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 go back down. So I don't actually have Kung Fu Master. Like I said, this is uh, essentially a farm, uh, to be honest. And then yes, I, I want to uh, equip it basically, and then you can see here your decor level. So if I put on this skin, which I can't actually because I don't have him. Yet, um, I can then upgrade this skin uh, through the system here. Oops. So we, we want to go ahead and upgrade uh, the decor level of my skin. Oh, because I unlocked it, it's uh, higher up here. Outfit upgrade. Oh, I guess you can't actually at all. So that that's... All right. Well, that's one thing to know is that you, you just can't. Uh, upgrade it even. Uh, I really was only going to upgrade it to just kind of, you know, I guess show that um, it, it's not going to have really any effect for me or, or for this base at all. But I guess you can't even upgrade it if you don't have the hero. So that is at least good to know. Um, I don't have either of the heroes, so it wouldn't have made a difference. But uh, yeah, so there you go. You're going to have to upgrade it with buttons, um, with, with using more buttons. We can talk about the buttons here. So there's a pack. It's a $20 pack, I believe, for 500 buttons uh, somewhere. Yeah. So 500 buttons for $20. Um, and then, you know, obviously that increases as we all know how the packs work. It's definitely not worth it, in my opinion. Um, you're you're going to have to spend like hundreds of dollars, essentially, to upgrade these outfits to a level um, that they're useful. If, obviously, you, you know, you buy everything, then uh, whatever. Um then it's fine. It's pretty good stats if you buy them all over and over. But if you know you you have to make a decision of like, do I buy this or something else? 
Um, I would probably recommend just buying something else. Uh, you're you're going to be able to get more stats, generally speaking, or or more effective stats uh, by spending your money somewhere else. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying these um, button packs. Here you can see it's $20. Sorry, my big fat head was covering it. Uh, so I wouldn't really recommend buying these button packs. I would invest your money in uh, invest. I would spend your money um, elsewhere uh, rather than these um, kind of upgradable skins. So that's about it, guys. If you want, um, again, it's free. Uh, you know, free to players can unlock these skins. Uh, as, as you saw, you know, I have enough. I have enough buttons and I don't even have any of the skins. So that's pretty good, actually. Um, I, I think that's a pretty, you know, solid system there. But I would not recommend purchasing buttons for these skins unless, you know, unless you already spend a lot and then you can actually get some pretty good um, might and uh, pretty good stats from there. So that's about it, guys. Um, hopefully it makes sense. Again, it is a limited e event or whatever, which is why I'm, I'm releasing this video. I did update a community post asking people um, what they want to see first out of Last Shelter. If you didn't see that post, because most, most of the time YouTube doesn't show people these posts, um, but you're watching this video, let me know in the comments. I will be doing Last Shelter content uh, basically for you guys. I'm not really going to be playing Eden Seasons at all. Uh, I just honestly don't have the time or the disposable income right now to catch up uh, in Last Shelter. I would, I would have to spend like, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 basically to catch up to the uh, competitive levels for the seasons and I'm not going to do that. So let me know what you guys want to see. Um, you know, I've, I've looked into many, many, many battle reports, um, new heroes, uh, new research, um, parts, you know, hero parts, uh, everything like that. So just let me know what you guys want to see first, and I will do my best to uh, kind of release it based on what you guys want to see first. All right, guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Love y'all. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.